Point of vector u that is parallel to the yz plane and perpendicular to the vector v equals 2, 5, 0. So the first thing to notice is if it's parallel to the yz plane, then this vector u is going to have the x value or the first component be 0. And then for the second and third component, we're just going to call it some letter. So let's say y and z. Okay, the next thing is we, it needs to be perpendicular to the vector 2, 5, 0. So that means if I take the dot product, with 2, 5, 0, I better get 0. So now if I do the dot product, I do 0 times 2 plus y times 5 plus z times 0 equals 0. That leaves me 5y five, five is 0, so that means y has to be 0. So right now my vector u is 0, 0, and then z. Note that this vector u has to have, it's a unit vector, so the length has to be 1. And here, I don't really care what z is, because when I do a dot product with 0, it's going to be 0. Obviously, you don't want it to be 0, because you want it to be a unit vector. So the only thing that works has to be 1. So this is our final answer.